Yo, what up guys? It's me and my nine tutorial of my CFW tutorial series. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to install CCAPI 2.60 to work for any custom firmware, including uh, firmware's 4.70, Cobra, DEX, or KEX, it doesn't matter. I know I made this tutorial before, but in that tutorial, it doesn't work for firmware's about 4.65, and it doesn't work for Cobra firmware's either. But I'm about to show you how to make it work for Cobra firmware's and firmware's about 4.65. So first I'm going to show you my system information. As you can see, I'm on 4.70. I'm actually on Rebug 4.70.1 Rex Cobra. And I'll see you guys at the PC. All right, guys, from the library PC, you want to download the CCAPI package 2.60 Rev4 folder. It'll, link will be in the description. So you just want to open that up. I'll open up PC and then install CCAPI setup v2.60 let's run it i already have it installed so it's probably just going to uninstall it and reinstall it yes see so just click yes yes okay and then we're going to install it now so just next 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 create desktop icon next install next finish and then here's the updated version of CCAPI, so you can run it on 4.70 custom firmware, Cobra or non-Cobra, doesn't matter. So you just want to close that. And uh, in PC, you'll see PS3 Live V4.4, you just want to open that. And then say uh, you want to run like a RTM tool, but it won't connect. You just want to copy and replace this DLL into your RTM folder, and then it'll work. So you just want to go back, open up PS3, and then plug in USB, mine's right here, and just copy over this PKG on the root USB, and then safely eject it and will see on the PS3. Alright guys, so now while your PS3, you want to plug in your USB into the right USB port, and if you have a fat PS3 further to the right USB port, I just plugged in mine now, so you just want to go into Package Manager, Install Package Files, Standard, and click X on the end stone PKG. It'll be right here, so you just want to run it. And it says detected firmware 4.70 KEX. That's correct. Doesn't give me an error or anything. Okay. And then, are you sure you want to install? Just click yes. And then my system will reboot, and I'll see you guys after. All right, guys, so once your PS3 starts, you'll see an icon on the top right that says Control Console 2.60. Uh, that means, like, you installed it properly. And I'm going to show you guys how to add your console to the con uh, Control Console program so you can connect to it. So you want to go over to Settings, System Settings, System Information, and you'll see IP address. Mine's 192.168.2.18. So you want to memorize that. And then I'll see you guys on the PC. All right, guys, so now I have your PC again. You just want to open Control Console. Mine's right here. I'll just delete this right now. So you just want to go to File, Add New Console, PS3 Name. You can name it whatever. I'll just put uh, a Kex PS3. And this is where you want to put the IP that you remember. So mine was 192.168.2.18. Okay. Just want to click on it. Right click on it. Connect. Connect to Kex. And there you go. You successfully installed CCAPI 2.60 on 4.70 KEX or DAX Cobra firmware. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.